Today's video tutorial, we are talking about editing with text. In the previous tutorial, we showed you how to edit B-roll and then add some text onto your videos. Well, this time we're going to be adding the text, but then we're going to make the text a little bit more creative. So this makes it a little bit better. So when you're, as an example, if you're, if you've got moving text, on your screen then people will watch you longer because if you're putting up the whole sentence or maybe you've got a whole phrase that you want to convey then people will watch it or see the phrase and then click off whereas if you've got moving text they will stay longer because they're reading the text and it's like basically it's, it's open loop text effectively so we are going to fire up davinci resolve 17 and while we're doing that i'm just going to pop uh, the be live uh, link into the comments on youtube and Facebook because you can get a free trial of BeLive uh, with that link. And if you would like a discount as well, then say Nick Dash Wood will give you a 30% discount, not only on your monthly um, subscription, but also if you have an annual subscription as well. So any subscription that will give you that discount. So please go uh, and enjoy. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. And if you remember from the last one, we've got this little clip here where we put on, uh, we had a lady mixing let me change the camera angle and then we change the camera back again and then we have a little bit of adding something so here i thought we could add some text and show you some really quick easy ways um, to do that so let's uh let's take the media pool off and so then we have all our text so we click on our text effects and we've got titles here third one down and we had lower thirds we showed yesterday a little bit and we put text in yesterday, but now we're going to have text plus. So it's as simple as just dragging a text box into the timeline and sitting it on top of on, on top of our video. So as you can see, it's got custom title. Now, two things I want to show you today. And then you, but now you know this, you can be able to play around with it. Come up to the top here, top left hand, uh, sorry, top right hand corner, and you've got inspector. And here we can play around with the text. So in that little clip, they're obviously adding something. So I'm going to put add a pinch. Salt. That way we can change our change our text. Um, as you can see, we've got layout, um, shading, image, lots of different settings there. So we've got title and we have settings up here as well. So that text, I don't really want it to be so high up. So as always, we can just remove or change our positions. I'm just going to bring it down a touch just by sliding that Y axis. And I think that will probably do it. So go back into the title. And so here we have uh, where we can change our fonts. So we've got all those little fonts you can change. Uh, you can have bold, semi-bold, uh, light, regular, italic, so you can let's go semi bold italic that's nice and we can change our sizing as well so all these things we have here now what i want to do though is i want to show you basically it's like a typing effect so this is what will keep people watching so here we have the beginning of the track uh but so what i want it to do is to do a typing effect so i'm going to go it's got eight seconds so i'm going to go to nine seconds I'll go nine and a half seconds, maybe. Oh, let's go to 10 seconds, why not? Um, so what I'm gonna do over here now, uh, we've got this right on. Okay, so on this little arrow, uh, sorry, arrow, this little diamond, that is what we call a keyframe. So that's gonna click on that and that will set that keyframe where we are in our timeline. So if we want to bring our timeline back, we can set another keyframe and no, we don't take that off uh, and now we should just go right on and bring that bring that back perfect there we go so that was it so now we're going to get a right on element so here we go let's click and hopefully this will work add a pinch of salt there you go and when it renders that will go through much more smoothly so that's how we can do that um so and if you want to have more text so we could just bring another text box down as well and with that text box we highlight it with our 
with our highlighting tool here, selecting tool. So we highlight that, we can go back in there and make a note and say, and we've got pepper, double P, isn't it? So we can say, and pepper, yeah. and then we can go into settings. Oh, I've lost it, where's it gone? Add a pinch of salt and pepper. There we go. Because uh, <laughs> I've moved it. So there we go. So we can add another. So here we go. So we've highlighted that. So then we can bring that below uh, in our settings here. So we can Y access it again, bring that down. So go beneath it. And then we can actually. Go back to the title. Uh, let's make it as it was. It was semi bold italic. That's better. We make it a touch larger. And again, where we are, where we stopped. So we can drag it on our timeline. We can add a pinch of salt. We know where that is. And so now. We can do a keyframe on this one. So we're going to keyframe, or actually we can bring that, bring that there and do what we did last time. So we're on 10 seconds. So let's make that to 11 seconds. You can only see the clock on the left-hand side going up. There you go, it's 11 on the timeline. So that's 11 seconds. Again, go keyframe and then go back to our We are back at our back at the beginning of our text box there, and so we want to do what we did earlier. So we're going to bring that down, and so now that will look like it's typing all the way through. So let's see what that effect looks like. There she is. Add a pinch of salt and pepper. So that's where you just get those layers coming down. Uh, once you've done your videos, um, you've used BeLive to shoot your live streams, you want to edit them, put them on YouTube, um, then I would always suggest we want to pop in and uh, go with our good friends, TubeBuddy. And uh, this is where you actually put your videos up online. You then search engine, optimize them, you get them found, you can play with titles, uh, you can split test the uh, A-B split test, um, your thumbnails, super important thing. So lots of things. And this is a free 30 day free trial um, of the pro version. So you can get a full pro version of TubeBuddy, play around with the full suite of tools and, uh, and get your videos found on YouTube.